are now tuning to That's Scary with your host, Melanie P, a podcast about everything from relationships to finances, sex, and what's going on in the culture. Every week, a different guest host, a different topic, raw, unfiltered. So sit back and relax. Melanie P, talk to him. Okay, help us, Lord. <laughs> Jesus, that was a very discombobulated <laughs> beginning. I feel like I was still getting ready as I'm pressing the button to start. It's all right, it's a lot of stuff. Girl, that's, I mean, I feel like I just went here, 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 everywhere. I sat down, press the button, and oh my God, starting. Anyway, welcome to another episode of That Scary with Melanie P. <laughs> we have an episode first here, okay? <laughs> we have an episode first. We have a back-to-back guest <laughs> that's come on the show. India is back. Yay. The family therapist is back. <laughs> the sex therapist is back. The marriage therapist is back. <laughs> Thank you. Well, thank God I did not scare her off to <laughs> not come back to the show. <laughs> so that's major. How you feeling? I feel good. People seem to really respond to the last podcast. Yes, I'm like, well, they sure. did. They really, 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 really like. Oh my god, I had people calling me. Oh my god, I love the show. I love her energy. Aww. Like they was really like loving the show. I said, let me go and get her back here to help to help some more people out, y'all, because it helped me. Let me tell you, I've had sex. Well, I, I've been having sex, obviously, but um, I was thinking about this last episode. When I was like trying to have sex and just trying to be more loose, <laughs> which is a horrible <laughs> word to use, but trying, okay. to, trying to be more relaxed. Um, we were supposed to go to the sex store yesterday, but time got away from us. But that's on our schedule for today. I meant to I'll text you and ask you, like, what store? I know there's a store um, by, like, what is it? What street is that? Going towards Havola, Pineville Matthews. There's a sex store over there. I know um, there's Hollywood Studios on Wilkinson's, and I just drove past the Adam and Eve recently. Okay. Yes, what Which store do you recommend? Or they're all the same? I think Hollywood Hustlers is really I big. I never heard of that one. Hollywood Hustlers? It's next to a strip club, and it's really big. <laughs> like a superstore. On oh, Wilkerson? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I didn't even know Charlotte had a sex superstore. <laughs> I mean, it's really big. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. See, I, I keep going to... Um, going to the stupid uh that place over there like going towards pineville matthews and there's not like a lot of stuff there so one? like so like if you're going up 70 again let's don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> what if you're going up 77 and then you exit off of like is it nations ford as soon as you exit off there is next to a caribbean restaurant mm. um but anyway the, it's like a they don't have a lot of stuff oh okay they don't have a lot of stuff I but i didn't know they had a superstore I don't know if it's classified as a superstore, yeah. but it's a really big store. Okay, because this one is small. I've been there a couple of times. This one is small um, and don't have a lot of stuff. So I'm, I'm going to see if they open a day. I wonder if they are. Cause <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going there today. But anyway, we all we all off tra- track. When the <laughs> sex topic come up, it's a lot of... Uh, it's, questions. It's, it's a normal. lot of stuff. I know, I know. And people... Man, and, and I'm, I'm really curious to know how many people like did that um, sex in the bed. Because <laughs> I ain't did that yet either. Um, watching the movie Naked? Yes. I'm sexing. I'm sexing. A bitch. Oh my god! Watch a movie naked. I wonder how many people have done that because people was loving did. that. I know. Oh my god! Like so. Anyway, girl. But how you doing? I am good. I am good. good. Feels good to be back. It's yeah. beautiful weather. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Mental health check in for me. I'm doing good. Actually, I'm doing really, really good. We had a great weekend thus far. We had mm-hmm. a great week. Um, God, we drank way too much yesterday, so that's why I got coffee. <laughs> what you had? What's your favorite? Oh, good question. Um. Anything's my favorite. I like alcohol, period. <laughs> um, but I was I was hooked to Jameson Irish whiskey for years. Oh, wow, whiskey. You're taking it strong. Yeah, no chaser, <laughs> Cuba ice. Um, you know, I'm a drinker, child. Listen, I, I, listen. I like Cuba that. ice. A Cuba ice. I don't want nothing in it. Maybe a splash of Coke. Um, wow. I'm an Irish whiskey girl. But I feel like lately I've been on um, tequila. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Now, yesterday I went somewhere and this guy, the um, 
the waitress was saying that it was a drink called a blue motorcycle. And he was like, yeah, super strong. So I got it, girl, and it was strong. Like, I don't, I don't think I even finished it. And that's something I, I always finish my drink. And it was Me strong. Too. So, like, we was we, we got back home, girl, and um, we was th- 20 sheets to the wind. And we was outside. We were literally outside karaoke karaokeing. Mm-hmm. In the backyard with the neighbors, <laughs> like for the neighbors, and I was like, they, they, they gonna think me crazy out here. Like girl. they are so drunk. Girl, I know, I know. I said, damn, that that drink got me, and it came back, and I we had some wine. <laughs> like I'm just like, we going way too far. Have fun. Have I know, fun. I know. And you know what? That was that was quality time. Yes, it is. And that's what we needed, and it was a lot of fun until Jason was drunk on the floor <laughs> at the end of the night. But. It was good. It was good. We, we, we had a, it's been a good week. It's been a good, good weekend. And honestly, I'm going to that sex store immediately after uh, recording this podcast. Good. Recording this <laughs> podcast. But you're going, you're good. You're, you're, how you, how you feeling mentally? Mentally, I'm feeling good. Last night we went out to, we, we oh, do wow. a month, our monthly date nights. Okay. We, we went out to dinner and then we did, went to Puttery. Where? <laughs> In South End. Okay. Like, so, so y'all made Puttery? No, no, no. So it's golfing. So putt, putt, oh, basically. Oh, putt, putt. But it's called puttery. So you're like doing golf on the inside. But it was a lot of fun. Wait, no, damn, you're not even from here. You know more stuff. <laughs> she tell me about <laughs> places to go. Like, damn. Because I have a friend that um, she's just single and free. Yeah. She's just always going out. So I'm like, well, let me know where where's right. a good place to go. Oh, my gosh. Um, do, do you like horror movies? Uh, I'm not guessing. No, I used to love horror movies. But as I got older, I'm like, this is creepy. Really? Yes. Girl, I'm obsessed. Obsessed, obsessed, obsessed really? with horror movies, and a new horror movie came out. But I don't have a babysitter, I don't think. But um, it's a it's a movie called um, Evil Dead Two. Sounds sounds Evil horrible. Dead. Evil Dead Two. Number one was really good, <laughs> and number two came out Friday, and I really want to go and see this movie. You um, I, I might go myself, y'all, because he don't, he don't, he's scared of horror movies, so I might go by see. It I myself. like comedies or like a romance oh, or something. No, I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to laugh. I don't want to <laughs> cry. I want to be scared. What? I want to be frightened. <laughs> and this movie I heard is really, really good. Um, but anyway, y'all, <laughs> reboot, reboot. Yeah. We have a great show um, for you guys today. We are talking about 10 sex tips for men. And yes. this show is past due. Like, <laughs> it's past due, past due, past due. And it's so funny because a girl had called me. She was listening to last week's episode, and um, she was like, this is so good. And then we started talking about sex and how, you know, these men just be so oblivious, child. They, they just be so oblivious. I'm like, it's so funny we're talking about this because next week's episode, hopefully it'll help these men out hopefully. here. You know what I'm saying? To listen. <laughs> mm-hmm. But it's so crazy because I feel like this is the part I just don't get. These men, they'll you'll tell them, and they'll still do the opposite. Like I don't, this whole men is from Mars thing is just <laughs> such a real thing. Like I've never seen any species that that communicates with English, and that you <laughs> tell them, hey, this is what works, and they yeah. still don't do it because they think for them it's been it's been working for them. Has it? Has it been working? I don't well, know. Maybe you're only the one that told them that it wasn't. Girl, so the only one that told them the truth. <laughs> yes. Yes. Girl, mm. <laughs> <Child>. <laughs> It's funny because I had put a post out, um, like I did last time, and mm-hmm. I had people kind of, um, mostly, I guess it was mostly women, put in like their sex tips for men, and they were all kind of aligned to what I already had. So oh, I'm good. like, this is an epidemic out here that these men are not listening. Um, <laughs> but before we get into these sex tips, I have a long game. Oh, I want to play. Listen, I, I don't want you. Right, surprise. So I have a little icebreaker. I played it on this show before. Okay. So me and my friend, we um, put together like all these questions um, and we numbered them, whatever. And I'm going to ask you to pick a number. And then that corresponding question will be what I ask you. (laughs) So let me find these questions child. not prepare (laughs) on the show. Okay. So give me a number one through ten. Seven. It's my lucky number. Um, okay. <laughs> so this is when someone, I, I should have raised this actually because um, somebody, else, somebody else answered this, but I'm going to ask you because I'm interested. What is your favorite porn category? My favorite porn category? <laughs> hmm. You know, there's so many mm. categories to watch, <laughs> but it's like, I don't like anything hardcore. Mm. I like hardcore. Just, what is You like romance and comedy. <laughs> I like a good storyline. <laughs> Why are women be loving a storyline, girl? But 
that makes sense for women because women are so like emotional, so so they want to know like the background. But uh, Ebony, like I need some black people. Real? So yeah. here I got a funny story for you, and it, this will probably explain why I have been so off sexually. Because you know what, I never used to watch black people sex like porn. Really? No. I want to tell you why. So I have three older brothers and. When I tried to watch it, I would be thinking, ew, is this what they're doing? <laughs> um, and I was like, I can't watch this. I cannot watch this because it just made me feel like, is this what they're out here doing? <laughs> or is this what they're watching? Or is this what they're into? And I could, like, I, I literally just started watching black porn this year. Oh, wow. Maybe not this year, but in the past 12 months. Wow. Yeah. So what were you watching before? White people porn. Ugh. I know. <laughs> and so, and here's the thing, like, when I switch to black people porn, I'm like, hold up, this is a whole, it's different. <laughs> it's different. So, like, the, um, so, I used to, well, used to have a phobia of riding dick. <laughs> Not a phobia, that sounds horrible, but, you know, when you're up there, if I'm sober and I'm up there, I feel like, okay, perform stage, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's, it's a Like, perform- you have to be a porn star? Like, well, not, but a white people porn star is different so i was like man this seemed crazy so i I would ask my female friends who are obviously are black you know what how do, what do y'all be doing when y'all riding dick and they, they would be telling me how they clapping you know all the stuff like that i'm like that's not what i be seeing on the porn so when i switched to because white women they are like <sighs> they there, yeah, it's, a lot, yeah. it's a lot more talking or it's something. a lot more talking it's a lot more like it's it's no jiggling you know what I'm saying? It's no <laughs> like I got right, right. It's 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 no jiggling. It's no like you know. Obviously, I view a black men, so obviously they like the jiggle. They like you know what I'm saying. And so when I'm watching the white people porn, it's like it seems more. I don't know. It's just very very different. You yes, know? it is. So like watching the black porn, I'm like, okay, I could I could make my ass clap or do this yeah. jiggle stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's really helped me. With the riding dick and stuff like that. So you so you want a storyline, but is there like a certain category? No, it's usually just black, just black ebony. Ebony. Wow. ebony. See, I don't think I've even searched ebony. Really? Huh? A, I don't know what I searched if you find them black people now. I guess it depends on what uh, what you're looking at. Like, there's red tube. I use mm. that one, and then there's what Pornhub. I only have like I only mainly use the XX something. Oh, XX I never something. used that one. I I've always just watched red tube, and it's just ebony. Ebony. Yeah. I'm gonna try it, but I have to search. flip through because I can't look at ugly people. Really? No. That's so horrible. I know. I oh know. I shouldn't even call them ugly. Girl, but look, my whole, my, my, my whole thing <laughs> fell off when you said that. Like Jesus Christ. No. But I'm like, there are just some people where you're like, oh, oh my. like, like, give me an example of like ugly. Person. I don't know. Like there was just this woman, and I'm like, I don't think she was oh, you know properly like God. cleansed. And, oh wow. You know, like, like I will flip through. Yeah. Like the one category I can't watch is anything like Hispanic, and I think oh, that's no. just because mm-hmm. my I love my sister love, and she's Mexican. I'm like I don't want to know what and you're see, doing. Now you know how I feel. <laughs> that's why I wasn't watching the black people porn because you know my brother girl like uh uh-uh, uh I do not because and then here's another thing like I feel like we resemble each other so much <laughs> and so sometimes sexually I, I would feel like insecure and be like oh my god is my partner thinking that I look like my brothers like girl I'd be all in my head girl I'd be oh. all in my head I know. Why are, you, why are you thinking when you're up there? <laughs> Just do, girl. So I mean, if if I've had drinks, I ain't thinking about nothing. I'm doing, I'm perf- I'm doing a good job. But if I'm just like sober, sober, or you know, so you know how sometimes I don't know if your partner does this, but like if my partner requests for me to be up there, then it's like, oh shit. You know what I'm saying? Because, <laughs> because now they've requested it. So yes. now it's like, here we go. But yeah. if I just get up there or like if I'm drunk and up there, then I'm just doing what I want to do. But I feel like if, if you ask me to get up there, now you want a performance. Girl. Just turn around. Just don't look at them. So here's another story. <laughs> <laughs> don't even look at Girl, them. okay, so... When I was married before, one time I turned around. <laughs> this sounds horrible. Oh, Lord. Girl, one time I turned around and our rhythms were so, got so off and, like, it something crazy happened and it just made me feel so scared to turn around again. Yeah. Um, But I do turn around. I haven't turned around in a while. Y'all though. were, like, going two different We was months. going, like, this. <laughs> it was just like, oh, my God. This, Hold his legs down. And girl, just be I know. I was like, what are we doing? This is so weird. I don't want to get me off. Get me off. <laughs> I just 
were like, not in sync. Oh, girl, my heavens. That is the worst feeling. Like, I cannot stand when you're having sex with somebody and y'all rhythms get, well, shit, somebody. Well, your partner. And, like, your rhythms get off. Like, that's it the can worst. Happen. I hate that feeling, girl. Especially if I'm sober. Like, I, and I... <laughs> I know that sounds bad. Like, I have to be drunk to have good sex. But I feel like a lot of women are like that. You know what I'm saying? It goes back to, like, what we were talking about last like last time. Like, women be in their head sometimes. You know what I'm True. saying? So if I could have True. me a little drink and just feel like I don't care and unbother, I, f- I, I feel like I perform a whole lot better. I'm a, I'm a better freak. Do you have insecurities? No. No. Oh, my boyfriend, listen, look, <laughs> if somebody's boys go high like that, you, you know they lying. Like, like, you know they lying. Uh, but it's so, okay. I don't have insecurities. Um, I will say after I had my baby and I was kind of out of shape. Wow. I was out of shape. Um, that made me feel insecure. Mm. Um, like I did not feel comfortable being fully naked. You know what I'm saying? Because I felt like I was just out of shape and I felt fat, you know? Oh, um, but yeah, and you know I do, but and again, my partner is very like reassuring over Aww. and over and over again. So I, I have no reason to feel that way, but I just didn't feel like myself after having my baby. That's um, but I feel like you know I'm getting back to my pre baby weight, so now I'm back to being butt naked walking around. And I don't care. Um, so <laughs> I don't really have any insec- Yeah, I don't really have any insecurities. I think my biggest insecurity is just I want to. I would like to perfect riding dick. Yeah, practice this makes perfect. Get up there. Yeah. Or ask them, what do you want? Or watch a porno, see what they're doing. I, I, that's how I, I want. Yeah, I think that's something that actually I need to do. I think I, I don't think we watch porn during sex in a long. And again, I, you know, I, again, I'm, my, my baby's eight months, but I was pregnant, so I feel like we ain't watch no um, porn in a while while having sex. Turn one on. I know I need to turn on. Um, I would say like my favorite. I like bondage. I like um tie me up. I like robber coming again. I don't want to speak this into existence, but 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 I like robber coming. You know what I'm robber. saying? <laughs> yeah, like handcuff me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like you know just the suspense. I, I want to be like, oh my god, how did you get here? <laughs> do you want to be like bondage like that? Um, handcuffed, tied to bed. Think? I do. Um, I I've enjoyed that in the past. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm open to that kind of stuff. I, I think one of my sexual problems, look, look now, now, now it's a whole therapy <laughs> session. It's a whole therapy session right now. It's but I, to that I know, time. I know. I feel like, um, I feel like I am more, I'm so much into like aggression and bondage, but I need to tap more into like being softer sexually. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I really do. Like, I, I used to always like, you know, the rough stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mama, don't listen to this. <laughs> Um, I used to always like rough, like rough stuff, mm-hmm. but I think I need to tap more into like the sensual side of it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Slow it down. Yeah. yeah. Does your part- what does your partner prefer? Everything. Oh. Um, my partner is very romance, romantic. Let's make love. Let's kiss. Okay, so you know slow what I'm it saying? down. I know, I know. And I'm just like, and again, I I, I, I hate to keep throwing the baby card out there because that card going to um expire <laughs> soon. Yeah. But, but it's like, it's like. I don't know. I feel like I'm still kind of trying to get back into my rhythm. Like, I feel mm-hmm. like now that Bailey's getting older um, and more kind of stable and sleeping more than the night, I feel like, okay, now I can have my little wine at night. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm kind of getting back to, like, you know, okay, okay. You know, get back, bitch. Like, it's, it's almost it's almost a year. So, you get, <laughs> so get back, get yes. back. Um, but, yeah, I, I think I need to tap more into the sensuality of sex. That might even be a category on there. I think really? there's like a romantic. A I've romantic seen that category. on there. And that, see, I it don't, I don't like a storyline. Like, I don't want all the drama. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just want a robber just to come in there and just like, <laughs> make, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just love that. I just, I just like that. We're going to tell your partner to come climb with their I, That's a good idea. And, you know, I really want to try like some, some like role playing. You know okay. what I'm saying? I want to try some role playing. That could be fun. I know it could be. It could be. But anyway, anyway. <laughs> so I want to jump into it. But before I get into these, um, before I get into the tips that we have, I want to just say some of the tips that you guys sent in. Okay. Um, now, a lot of them are aligned to what I have down here. But somebody said, foreplay matters. So again, reboot, reboot. We're doing the top 10 tips for men sexually. So I'm going to give y'all five seconds to go find your man and make him listen to this podcast and bring him in here because he needs to hear this. It will help you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, But somebody said, foreplay matters. Doing things throughout the day can lead to a great night. 
Mm-hmm. Another person said, ask what we like. If you don't know, ask what we like. Yes. Another person said, slow down, baby. Breathe with me, <laughs> which I like that one. Um, somebody said, treat each woman as an individual. What made one holler might make another woman cringe. True. That That's was true. a really, really good one. That That's was a really, true. really good one. But I'm going I'm to start with the number one tip for men. Again, all men come to the room, come listen, to this listen, podcast. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen, 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 Linda. All right. Oh, Lord, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm about to say, yeah. Now, I saw something that said crack. I'm like, hold up. That's not a tip. <laughs> that's not a tip. All right. Number one, affirm your woman, make her feel sexy, and make her feel secure. Yes. What are your thoughts? Make, yes, that's a must. Make her feel good about oh herself. God. Who's going to want to take their clothes off if they don't feel attractive? Right, right. And it, I mean, and it goes back to the conversation last week, and it goes mm-hmm. back to what I even I just said. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even an insecure person, but as a woman, sex is very, um, it's a very vulnerable time. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And like we were saying before, it's kind of like women gain weight. You know, mm-hmm. they do all these different things that happen. And if my body is changing and I'm already feeling kind of insecure about it, and now you're not saying anything, or you are you used to compliment me, now you don't. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yep. Or, you know, like I said, it's very vulnerable. So mm-hmm. I, w- I would like to hear my partner you know, you look good or this feels good or, you know what I'm saying? Just, and it's not just during the time that you're yes. having sex. Yep. Like that throughout girl said, like, like the girl said throughout the day, mm-hmm. like throughout the day, I want to hear you affirming me, making me feel comfortable, making me feel beautiful. Yeah. You know, it could just be little simple things like, damn, you look good today. Like right. even just little simple things, a right. smack on the ass works. For right. Me. Right. <laughs> and, and give compliments. You know yes. what I'm saying? Like, and here's another thing you could do. And I don't know if all women would like this, but I would like this, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I, I know some of my friends, well, one of my friends in particular, her husband does this, but if you're out or if, even if you're in, cause Amazon delivers and you, <laughs> and you, if you have something that you would like for me to wear, mm-hmm. you know, like some lingerie, buy it, you know That's what I'm true? saying? Like buy it because that would make me feel like you're invested. I would feel a little bit, I would feel sexy because mm-hmm. it's like, you're imagining me in it. True. You know what I'm saying? You want to see me in this. Mm-hmm. So it's, I think it's being creative in making your woman, not just the, you look great today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that, that's, that's good. <laughs> right. That's really good. But I do feel like you can do that. Start there, but then be more creative. True. You that know what is, I'm saying? I like that idea. Yeah. Buying her some lingerie. Yeah. Buy <laughs> her some lingerie. My friend, my friend told me that her husband buy all her um, underwear <laughs> <laughs> everything I'm like dang that is really good like that is good yeah I bought my own I hope I think he likes it <laughs> listen I'm still in my pregnancy underwear <laughs> not because I have to be but those things are comfortable oh girl Lord. and I know he hates it but I put on them cotton underwear like size 3x underwear and I'm like these feel great look at on your face on a regular <laughs> What about just something lace? I like to feel good underneath. Like yeah. my bra and panties always match. Really? Yes. I'm trying to get to that girl. And I was I was doing really good, but when I got pregnant, yeah, I put on them, them um them. I, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I went to roses <laughs> and I found me a pack of underwear, and I said these things feel great. Like <laughs> that's true. Though. They look horrible, mm-hmm. but they feel great. And mm-hmm. then the other panties may not fit right either. That's like true. Our butts, girl. I know, mm-hmm. I know. And it I was, all spread, girl. It be spreading. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? I had bought some underwear from TJ Maxx and they were like a size large um, and them things was too small but come to find out they were something was wrong with them it wasn't me oh. something was wrong with them like them things barely even came up my thigh and I said this this is not right but anyway like I can't wear the cheekies really no because my behind and them cheekies just don't just hold on are the cheekies the ones where like like boy shorts? No, I can. Boy shorts are cute. Yeah. But the cheekies, it's like, it covers up like, I just had, like, your cheeks are just out. But for some reason, my butt uh, and them cheekies just don't mix. Cheekies? I don't know what that is. Yeah. I get all my from, like, Victoria's Secret. Really? Yes. Girl, they've they been having some good sales. Yes, see, see, I, see, again, I know it sounds like eight months is a long time, but I ain't even been to Victoria's Secret since I had Bailey. Get you some new drawers, okay? Right. I need to get some new drawers, y'all. Some- don't cancel me. I need to get some new underwear. <laughs> so, <laughs> so again, um, affirm your woman. Make her feel sexy. So if you're taking notes, men, and I hope you are, number one, yes. affirm your woman. Make her feel sexy. It's so simple. Mm-hmm. Like, that's so simple. So I, I'm a, I, I ain't trying to call nobody out. Last night, we was playing spades, and one of the couples there, I'm not going to say no name. But Uh-oh. the um the girl the, the woman was like was saying how you know my partner is always like complimenting me and like doing it too much whatever like like always doing it but 
she was like, she asked her partner, like, when was, I, th- I think she might have asked, when was the last time he complimented her or why don't you compliment me or, or something like that. And he was like, I complimented you back in March. It's a I'm month like, ago. I'm like a March. It's it's a, it's about to be a hold up. It's about to be May. You know what I'm saying? So that's an example. Like if that and see, we're joking. We were all joking, but that's an example. Listen to your woman. Yeah. Listen to your woman because if she's saying, "Hey, I want more affirmations. I want more. I want more compliments." That's free. That's true. That's free. That is free. And then it makes them just feel secure. Right. Like last, so last night when we went Mm out, like had I had been an insecure wife, I Mm -hmm. definitely would have went off. Mm -hmm. So we were playing puttery and I went first and it was Mm -hmm. this four group of girls that came up. They were about to go to like little to nine or we were like on five or Mm -hmm. whatever, but it was, they were right behind each other. So I saw them looking at my husband. Like, (laughs) I was like, thank God I'm not insecure. Like, so then I stood in front of him. I know that's right. So then it was my turn to putt. They asked him, like, can you take a picture of us? I'm Girl. like, so why didn't Paul ask me? Right. But I was like, I'm not insecure. Right. But had I been, I'd be like, my, no, exactly. I got it. Right. I got it. And I was like, Girl, Girl, you probably can't cook. So a mess. No. A mess. <laughs> right. Get out of here. Scram. <laughs> so, I know I look good and my husband loves it. Right, right. And see, these women out here, yes. they're shysty, girl. And if they see a man, especially a married man, a man that got a yes. ring on, girl, that's, that can be enticing to them. And, like, he's he's very affirming for me. Like, when mm. we're out, like, he's smacking my behind or just telling wow. me I look good. Mm. So they're like, I want that. No. All right, mine. right. Exactly. So. And then listen to that. Like, I mean, smacking my, smacking her butt. I don't want to smack my butt. Smacking her butt, you know what I'm saying? affirming her y- y'all on a date you can still affirm yes, her like, yes. like that's good it makes you feel good and, and that's gonna lead to better sex because now yes. I'm gonna feel comfortable because now I know that you like what you see yep absolutely so simple okay it's like shame on so me. that's an easy one so that's something y'all can start today so as soon as y'all hang up this, this podcast y'all, y'all can do that today <laughs> or send a text yeah you can send a text throughout the day you was looking good in those pants yesterday you know yesterday yep. or you know I'm, I'm liking how your body's looking or I can't, yes. I can't you know just anything those are such simple Yep. Three things to do to make your yep. woman feel so good. And just like when you're like in the early stages of dating. Good morning, beautiful. Right. Good night, beautiful. Right. When was the last time you called her beautiful? Mm, <laughs> that's a good one because you remember when when you was dating and you would always get them yes. stupid text messages. And good morning, beautiful. Like that's just the go to text. <laughs> yeah, it for, is. Like it's it just is. the go to text. But I would love to get a text like that now. Yeah. Now I don't know because you know my partner be complaining because I be putting my hair in rollers and um <laughs> and my bonnet and um and and if he made me mad I put on my big old three three x um shirt to go to bed. Why do they hate bonnets? Like what's <laughs> and a little bit of a face mask, girl. <laughs> and it's like you're not having sex on it. You're having sex. <laughs> I can't listen. Listen, you know what I'm saying? What you're you're having sex with me. So like, what does it matter? Like, what does it matter? What's on my head, sure. girl? And you know, I want to preserve how I look at <laughs> night. So in the day. Time I can look like a regular person, you know. That's all about girl, like, don't worry about his bonnet. Anyway, number two, foreplay. Foreplay. Yes. Foreplay is not just. Um, I don't want to get personal. <laughs> foreplay is not just doing licking me. For your own, you know <laughs> what I'm saying, like moistness to get yes, yourself ready. Exactly. Foreplay is throughout the day. Foreplay mm-hmm. is the day before. Foreplay yes. is the morning. It's not just do what you got to do at the time to get me wet, or exactly. you know what I'm saying, whatever. Just to just for your own pleasure. Like, what are your thoughts on foreplay? Foreplay is important. Mm-hmm. Like, if you especially if you just want her to kind of know like she's looking good and. Mm-hmm. Just like, okay, hopefully we keep playing with this little foreplay. Right, don't lead to something. Right, right. It is important. And no, it's not just for you. It's for the both of you. Mm. And you could reciprocate it with each other. Right. And it's being like flirtatious. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. I, I think sometimes when men hear foreplay, they hear of something, of some type of sexual act. And I know for me personally, <laughs> I like, I don't really want a sexual, I mean, I do. So like, if we're having sex, then, you know, um, before we're having sex, then there are certain things you could do like foreplay True. wise, but throughout the day, you don't have to be groping me <laughs> and think that that's, that's foreplay preparing us for the nighttime. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think foreplay could be joking with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Having True. some banter, like having some back and forth banter. Talk, I like it. Talk shit to me because <laughs> that's foreplay. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, like, and I don't mean like be 
you know, rude. You know, rude or like be like, bitch, sit your ass down. But like, <laughs> but like talk shit to me and I'm gonna talk it back. And to me, that's kind of us flirting. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like flirting with your partner, yes. getting them ready, not just waiting yep. until before sex. Flirting is important. Like you should flirt like throughout the day, mm. every day, like just right. little simple things. Right. What? So like, tell me like, what's your best example of foreplay that you and your partner do? My husband will just randomly send me just these random text messages mm. like, show me your tits. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. Do you do it? Sometimes. <laughs> I'm all for sexting. It's my spouse. It's your partner. Sexting. Don't That's a good one. That. Now, sexting. Sexting is just not for the situationships. You exactly. know what I'm saying? And the people yeah. who are dating. It's for yes. married people. It's for people yes. who are in long-term relationships. Like, you can sext your partner. Yep. You know, that keeps it fresh. Mm -hmm. That's something that you're doing throughout the day. <laughs> a quick, you know, a quick sext. I mean, and then to he's, he just takes his own pictures, too. Really? <laughs> of girl, of just what? Just of me. But oh, of, all of you? Yeah, I'll just be getting dressed, and I, I'll, he'll just take a picture. Oh, my Where God. Were we? we were at the beach last month, and he just has a big old picture of my ass in this <gasps> zebra bathing suit. Oh, but my God. But, it, again, it's just reaffirming that I'm It's reaffirming. <laughs> it's reaffirming. You know what I'm saying? And, um, girl, I'm going to tell you something crazy. So, we had a party. I can't even say I can't say this right now. <laughs> Say don't this. say no oh, names yeah, yeah. maybe no i can't say this because um <laughs> I can't say this. but all i'll say is taking pictures of your partner you know that's very sexy yes. um i don't know what well, i don't know if you watch love is blind but i know one of the things that the black couple did that i thought was just so beautiful and romantic the woman was having a really rough day she was stressed about their wedding and planning it and he um took some random pictures of her randomly one day and Aww. On a date night, he had all the pictures blown up. So when she walked oh. in to like the um to where he had cooked dinner, he had the pictures like big black and white pictures of her Aww. like already printed out. You know what I'm saying? Like I know that sounds that's uh, you know that's a little bit more than foreplay, but it's just you know doing those little things. I feel like kind of as we talk, all of these will tie in. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I because that. I think that affirm like affirming your partner is a form a form of foreplay as well Absolutely. you know what i'm saying like i think that's foreplay men i think need to get out of their head and think that foreplay is just sex like oh. some type of sex thing exactly. right before now that is a type mm -hmm. but i think that you have you have to think about women mm -hmm. how women's mind works you know what i'm saying especially if you've been with somebody for a very long time that stuff gets monotonous. It gets, okay, well, I know he go, he go his foreplay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Doing this little lick trick. And then, you know what I'm saying? Now, now you got to have sex. But no, it's all throughout the day. And it doesn't yes. have to be so sexual. It can be sure. other types Absolutely. of foreplay. Other types. Like, even simple I loved you throughout the day. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, that was really sweet. Mm -hmm. Or just a long, like, when's the last time you got, like, a nice, long little love message? Oh, I ain't had that in a long time. <laughs> Like a handwritten like, one. A handwritten one. That'll work, that'll too. Nice. But a text, too. You know what I'm saying? But a handwritten message, that's yeah. another way. You know what I'm saying? I, I guess for the men, if they're listening to this podcast, I feel like you need to just be kind of more creative and not yeah. just think that some type of sex stuff True. is the only kind of foreplay there is. Be creative. Yeah. Be creative. Yeah. All right. Number three. Ask your partner what they like and what their limits are. That's a good one. Cause some That's people like me don't play with my butt. Like the whole, really? the whole is awful. Mm -mm. So Nothing, no anal for you? No, really. Nothing is going in there. Stuff that's for mm. stuff to come out. But if you're into that, that's totally yeah, fine. Yeah, like there's yeah. a G spot in there. Somewhere in there, but I'll never know. Because <laughs> I don't want it either. I mean, I, I just can't imagine that. But mm -hmm. um, I feel like asking your partner what they like and what their limits are. I think that's so important. Mm -hmm. I feel like people could go years of being in a relationship and never have asked, what do you even like? That's true. Because it's kind of, you can't be selfish sexually, mm -hmm. you, the woman, or the man. True. Because you could be doing stuff, and like that listener said, you know what I'm saying, um, don't just assume that what has worked with other women is going to work with me. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like, we're different. We have different pleasures. Right. We have right. different... Like, some girls play with anything. Right. Put it wherever you want. But right. Me, and ask her, like, no, we're we not going to go back, back there. And ask your partner that. There are some men that may want their butts played with, and there are Ooh. some that are like, uh, no. No. I, Dwayne Wade. <laughs> what about him? He likes his butt played with. No, what does played with mean? I mean, I'm assuming she was putting something in there. Because there's a G spot in there. What could you put? Oh, like, like what do you put in there? She could be. I think she was eating his butt. Girl, shut your mouth. I'm, yes. Let's end this podcast right now. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. 
Stop, stop. Eh. That's what I read. What now time out? What does that mean to eat somebody's foot? Like you're licking it, licking the whole <laughs> your face. I'm not doing that and my partner's not into that either. But there are some men that don't mind. And some girls like their butts ate too. No, okay, that's the groceries, I guess. That's yes, the groceries. groceries. Okay. Like with uh, Janae Aiko said, eating the booty like it's groceries. No, let's 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 talk about that <laughs> because <laughs> I I don't I don't consider myself a prude. I'm open right. to stuff. Yeah. I don't understand. I just it's just I got so, so many questions going to my mind. <laughs> I, so many questions. How do you put your tongue and mouth inside someone's butt to eat it? I don't know. More so a man. I guess men, after he showered, maybe. But it's still hair there. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's still like, it could be remnants. Men don't even be showering good sometimes, child. Because that, that's, that's when the lips be getting to it. But like, that doesn't sound pleasurable for the eater or the ET. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like... That doesn't sound like that would feel good. I don't know, but some are into it. I mean, I'm sure gay men are into it. Okay, that's true. But I'm sure there there might be a straight man that's into that too. I'm I'm literally sitting here <laughs> and I'm I'm going I'm trying to imagine me like in the bed and me going to a man's butt and licking it and I just can't. I and just I'm can't. wondering like how is he laying? <gasps> like, is his butt tooted up in the air <laughs> or is he even worse on his back and legs open? How is he laying? I don't know. Like I think about like when you get a if you ever had like a Brazilian wax like. Like knees to chest like is he like that but then his big old feet i just couldn't do that if i ever see my man on his back <laughs> with his legs open waiting for me that girl I'm, I'm leaving at that moment i'm going to leave at that moment now i now i was at a party last weekend i did hear a girl say okay if you're sucking your man's penis and i guess that's the way to get down there so if you're no. already down there i guess you but, but your, head, your head would have to go super far in there to I guess maybe underneath the ball sack Ugh, maybe or lift sure. it up I don't know I'm sure there will be a man that's going to post on this pod, know, on this I podcast know, and know. say this is how we lay now I will <laughs> say with my current partner and I'm grown this is a, a transparent raw, um, raw podcast he's the first man that I've ever put his balls in my mouth really yeah and that was new <laughs> What made it so, like, different for you? What made you decide to do that? Well, you know, I mean, we're going to get married and stuff like that. Um, And I don't know. Like, I don't know. He just wanted it. And, you know, I was like, ew. I mean, at, at first I was like, I've never done that before. Um, And it felt weird. Um. Cause it just moves around. It what? What's even in that thing? Like, what, 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 what's in it? Like, it feels like. Ew, now I'm thinking about it. Ew, I'm, I'm, cause I'm imagining it now. You did it. I, and I know, drunk. and I be doing it and I'm just like, now I be thinking, and I feel so stupid when I'm doing it because I feel like, I feel like I look dumb, you know, in my head again. But like, when I'm putting his balls in my mouth, I, it, it just feels like this, I'm literally thinking this is so stupid, but it feels like they like that. I, I, think, so. I think it's super sensitive, but like, you know, they have two balls and it's like two hard things in that sack. And it's like when you have to squeeze one to get, to get the one. <laughs> Your face. I know. Cause I don't, oh, so, you know, it's like a sack and in mm-hmm. this, well, obviously, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a sack and in those sacks are, are those balls. Mm-hmm. And you know, he'll be like, cause you lick one. So then you got to find one and then squeeze it to where it's actually one. Just it's lick a the lot. one. Well, I lick them one at a time. But I guess, girl, again, we, we getting all of us. <laughs> but it's like, hold up. Now, do you, you lick them both? You just suck them. And they both go in. Now, his are abnormally big. I will say oh, that. Oh, um, okay. His, and see, again, <laughs> and I, his are, and I think that's the thing, too. They're just so big and they're droopy. Um, and it's a lot. I don't, I might try to make it all one <laughs> the next time. Just you know, try. like, maybe try to squeeze it and make it all one. Anyway, we, we, listen, hold on, what's the tip again? <laughs> okay, so ask your partner what they like. So, okay, getting mad at that. So, I like certain things. And that's an example. So, I know that my partner likes the whole balls thing, whatever. Um, You know, so I'll do it. But for the men, ask your woman what she likes. Don't assume. Yes. Don't ever assume sexually because that'll end. But twofold, women have to be open to saying, because I feel like I could see women not being 
honest. True. Or, and I know I've done it to where like you just let a man, you know, I'll, okay, whatever. You know let, what I'm saying? You like, let them pick. But you like, let them pick. Some women just may not know. Like, I don't know. Just do whatever. I know. And see, <laughs> sometimes women are not in tune with their bodies to even true. know what they like. That's very true even know what they like but if you're comfortable with your partner which i'm hoping you are if y'all having true, sex true. i'm hoping you are that's a great conversation like what what is it that you like that you think would please me better true or what am i doing that maybe you don't like mm -hmm. that i need to stop doing that is very true too and people are like how do i tell them that like just to just be honest it. with them, just say it. Even if you're watching a porn, I'm like, oh, I don't mm. like that. Or, oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Just, maybe that'll help. That's a good right. uh, conversation starter. Right. And see, I think women try to, and I know I was bad with this when I was younger. Like, I would, I'm going to tell you what I would do. And this is this is really incriminating me, this, <laughs> this episode. <laughs> I would just always be screaming and stuff, child. Even if I, even, <laughs> even if I, for no reason. Didn't know. I would feel bad for them. So, like, like I will make noise or, oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, just because I want you to get this over with, number one. Or, like, I feel bad, so, you know, for you. So, let me just make you think. But what someone told me, a friend was like, she was like, she just lays there. And if and if she ain't got a reason to scream, she just lay there. I'm like, what? I was like, you just lay there and make so them feel bad? Sex. Yes. She was mm -hmm. like, she'll just lay there. And, you know, if it's not good, she'll just be quiet. I was like, I was like, that sounds so horrible for them. Yeah, you know I, that. I would say that's probably horrible. Just a little light moan. A little or something. light moan. I mean, Jesus it's Christ. Quiet. You know, a little light moan. I feel like that would make him feel insecure. I know, I know, <laughs> and I, I need to do better than that now. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> but see, I like um, and see now. But see, here's the other thing that I'm thinking about this. I my partner don't like really hearing about past experiences that I've had, and I'm very open to that. Okay. Like I'm open, so like let's say you're having a conversation, and let's say I'm like, hey, so what did your, you know previous partners do that you enjoyed? I want to hear that. Really? I you don't? No. I'm not that. I'm not trying to be what they are. I'm not trying to be what they are, but I'm just trying to get an idea of what you like. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, maybe, and maybe I don't need to know that another partner did it, but sure. I'm, I'm just curious to know, like, what, what type of things have you done in your, in your past sexually that you really enjoy that I can bring into our sexual experience? But what if he brings something and you're like, I don't know how to do that. I'm going to figure it out. I didn't, I didn't like sucking no damn balls. I ain't had to do it before. And now I got people, you know what I'm saying? So like I do that and I, I mean, do I like it? Probably not. Cause it's crazy, but, um, but I do it, but you know, that's an example. Now he says, Hey, I like the balls. Okay, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Or mm -hmm. I could say, you know, I, my, my area are my boobs. I like, I like my boobs to be aroused. You yes, know what I'm saying? Same. To be touched. As long as I'm not still breastfeeding. Girl, yes. Oh God. And that'll be, that'll be awkward. <laughs> But yes. that's now I've seen that on porn, which is so scary. Which is like, some, some men like milk, that. I, I know, know, like the milk just coming out. These men are hers. I don't know if my husband cares, but I'm mm. not trying to drip no milk on no, him. No, no. Now I will <laughs> say my partner um wanted to like try that when I was pregnant. I was like, this is weird. I'm not doing that. Try what? Like I guess my breast milk. Oh, you never tried it? Mm -mm. Oh, did he? Oh, he probably did actually. Um, not to not willingly on my part <laughs> but yeah. you know whatever you're, you're already down there but um but I like that you know what I'm saying so you know that's an example of what I like he mm -hmm. should be asking me questions to see what I like and do that more because I feel like women will just adapt or just True. you know okay you know lay there but we need to be more communicative of what we like and we need to be asked True. that question and you then know? if they're not good at it teach them show teach them, them how teach them now the other part of this is um know their limits, which I thought was very interesting. Um, limits. So, so like for me, I like the whole bondage thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but you don't like that, do you? Like, no, I um, like to be in control. Really? Yes. My husband doesn't mind either. He's all for me to lay there. And he's taking control. Really? <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you why, because a lot of women and I hear, um, amongst my guy friends and stuff like that, don't initiate sex, especially after, um, you know, after years mm -hmm. or a while of being together, they get complacent um, and they don't initiate. Who doesn't? The men? Women. Oh, really? Women. A lot of women don't initiate sex, I feel like. And I think it's because sex gets kind of redundant True. and it's just trying, okay, here we go. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's go ahead and go. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think initiating sex from a woman, I think that that's probably a turn on for a man. I would think so too. Like, I feel like every you both should be initiating yeah. it. Yeah. It's like, why do you want just one always initiate? I know. 
Yeah. But you should know, kind of know, like, your partner, your partner's, like, signs. Like, yeah. okay, I, I think they're ready. Like, that's a good one. <laughs> now, see, and that goes along with this because knowing what they like. Like, maybe I might not always initiate because I, I had this thing that, like, I feel like I would do certain things that should be a sign for <laughs> you that I want to do it. Yep. But sometimes men don't be picking up on them clues. So you got to just say it, I guess, or do it yourself. But you got to pay attention. True. Yes, you do. You got to pay attention. Because, yeah. Like with me, like I would just scoot back and like rub my butt on him. Right. He knows it's time to go. Right. But his his initiating, I don't, like he would kind of do something, not that, but he would like just maybe just touch me in a certain place. And I'm like, okay, I know you're ready to go Mm. too. And see, that's, that shows that, that you guys have a good connection mm-hmm. because, like, you can kind of, both you guys can kind of pick up yep. on what the other person's putting down. Yes. You know, so, okay. <sighs> Number four, male hygiene. Ugh. Now. Take a bath, please. Take a bath, okay, with a wash rag, <laughs> with soapy water, or whatever type of body wash you use, especially, do not. Ask me for no blow job or whatever like that, and you have not scrubbed your penis and yes. scrubbed your thighs and like I mean washed. I yes. want to smell like some Dove soap when I'm down there. <laughs> not no nothing else. Exactly hygiene. Like, why else? Why are you having sex and you're not clean? Mm. And see, that's the thing too. Sometimes you can be clean but not clean thoroughly. That's you know true. what I'm saying? Like I want to smell. I I want to smell the soap. When I get down there, I want to smell. The, I want to smell something. You know what I'm saying? I want to smell something. Not, hold on, not something. <laughs> I want to smell cleanliness. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because that. that's, putting your mouth on a penis is a lot. You know what I'm saying? It is. It's it a is. lot, you know? It and is. I just don't, I just want to just taste skin and soap. But there are some women that just don't care. And I'm like, no, I need it clean. See. Like normally like right after the shower. Right after the shower. And see, women who don't care, y- y- y'all suspect. Because <laughs> if, if you don't care about that, what else you don't care about? That's true. Like, you, you know what I'm probably saying? probably go down on anybody. Now, now you've been married for a long, like, you've been married for a long time and with your partner for a long time. So, as you, like, as the years have gone by, would you be more so open to, like, having, sucking his dick or whatever, and he's not clean because you know him? No. Really? No. I love my husband to death. He, like I said, he's chocolate. He, yeah. he, uh, he sweats. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I don't, I don't know. Does it stink? No. But when yeah. I'm down there, it's clean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And like the must, I don't want to taste must. Oh um, God. Right. Like, I, I don't even know where that would come from, but I don't want to taste, I don't want to taste anything but like skin and soap. Yes. So hygiene, you know what I'm saying? Um, under your arms, you know, come on dog. Like, yeah. <laughs> Soap is five dollars at like, Walmart. Why wouldn't you want to be clean? Like, wouldn't know. you want me to be freshly right, bathed? Right, right, right. And to be cognizant of that, because I think men could like think like they might think that they're clean, but maybe they're not. So really, put some if especially if you know that tonight's the sex night. Yeah, you might you know wash or do a regular one two wash every other night. But when you, it's a sex, what are you? Doing? What is? I don't know. Cause I mean, I just get clean. <laughs> Like I know, you, but think about rubbing extra. I, I'm just saying, I, I think when it comes to male hygiene, at least if you know that it's a sex night, I would just <laughs> prefer that you do an extra. Extra, like wash it twice. Wash it two, three, four times. Because again, yeah. like putting a body part that's enclosed in your underwear in my <laughs> mouth, I want it to be extra clean. Have you had a bad experience? I have. I, I, <laughs> you must have, because I'm like, you are so adamant. Because it's fine. It should be clean. But I'm like, yeah. what kind of cleaning are we doing? <laughs> yes. And you have to clean it with a wash rag. Like, you, I don't know. Like, you can't just be in there running water. What? You have to use a wash rag, and you have to soap it up, and you have to wash your entire body. I like I like when I'm with, um, you know, my partner, and I can smell. I mean, I keep saying, saying this, but I can smell whatever body wash they use. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to smell nothing but body wash. That's, I think that's an excellent point. Right. I mean, that, that's cut and dry. Be Hygiene. clean. Be clean. Period. Point blank. Okay. Just be clean. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. My phone locking. Okay. Tip number five. Be creative. Toys, etc. cetera. Mm-hmm. Now, we know you're the toy go-to. <laughs> yeah. The toy guru. Be creative. Like, you don't want to do missionary, mm. doggy style every night. 
Switch it up. Switch it up. Switch it up. I like the idea. That was one of my biggest takeaways from the previous episode was the toys. Mm -hmm. Um, That's why I'm going to the toy store today. Because I think that, again, being with somebody for so long, Mm -hmm. especially if you're asking them what they like and they're telling you to be creative, think outside the box. Mm -hmm. Get the toys. There's so many different things. I, I can understand I understand why sex is such a big topic in relationships because think about it. You meet your partner. Y'all start out having sex every day, every other day. It gets old. It can get, it can get old quick. You know what I'm saying? It can can get old quick. So I think, you know, incorporating these things in your sex experience. Mm-hmm. And I, I like how that sounds. I'm starting using that going forward. Because a sex should be an experience. It should be right? an experience. I agree. It should be an experience. And I'm going to start using that going forward because that should paint the picture for you people. I mean, it doesn't have to be like that every night. But I yeah. think just do a little something different. Right, right. Um, I think, you know... There's so there seems to be so many different toys. Now you mentioned on on the previous episode. <laughs> Look, it's all coming back now. Um, the sleeve thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is a probably a TMI question because I'm, I'm gonna take my first thing I thought about when you said that that scared me. <laughs> um, if you're, I feel like men's penises are so um, sensitive, mm-hmm. and if you're using a sleeve, it's gonna make them explode quicker and get more aroused quicker. That's okay. Um, and if you're using a sleeve and you're giving them a, a bull job, now that sounds so white, a bull job. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You're giving, I don't even want to say that. I, I'm just very, I, I, whatever. So if you're giving them a blow job and then you're using the sleeve, what if they explode while you're giving them a blow job? That's okay. You want them to come. And then like, if you didn't get the time to enjoy, okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to have a round two. Mm, I how, how long has it been round two? <laughs> Give them a little time to recover. Oh my God. But I think men probably take longer to recover than women. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely think so. Well, some men. Cause if you go um, eat a little something and then maybe you'll be ready to go. My again. man recover. I feel like he recovers so quick and, Quicker than you. and ready. Always ready. It's a lot. <laughs> It's a lot. Oh. It's, it may be something about you that just turns them on. Well, I need to turn it off. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. Something oh is working for you. Okay. Listen, I'm, I'm tired. But be, I, I, I like that. Be creative. Use toys. Like, I, it is. It does get redundant mm-hmm. with the same positions and the same whatever. Especially on the weekends or, like, on nights where you have a little, a little bit more time. Sure. Try something different. Like even a different location, like different location. You don't have to have sex in the bed. That's true. Nothing wrong with some good That's shower sex. Now I like. I don't like shower sex. Really, Mm-mm. it's easier to clean off for me. It is. I don't like shower sex because both. Well, both of us are tall, and there's someone. Someone ain't getting no water, <laughs> and um, if we're in there, but I don't like it, girl. Like because because if, if I'm having sex in a shower, I know I'm gonna have my bonnet on <laughs> or you know something, and that ain't that's not gonna be a good look. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't know. I, I don't want to have sex in, but I do like having sex in public. Oh uh, yeah, I used to. I like into having that. sex in public. I like having sex like we've had sex outside um in the back. <laughs> couple of times i like having sex just out in weird places and that's a good example of being creative yes it is if your partner likes that spontaneous spontaneous yeah 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 i like that i like i think the common denominator with me is like risk you know what i'm saying like doing something where should we be doing this you know what i'm saying like you know like like having that element of like we, we shouldn't be doing this but we're doing it you like risky I like risky. You keep doing it though. I like risky. I like I like doing something and having to hide it. You know, like if you're in public or if you're at a theater or if you're in a restaurant, you know what I'm saying? Um, and that's foreplay. Yeah. You can be in a restaurant, you can be touching your partner on the table, mm-hmm. doing whatever. One time, right before we had Bailey, we got a little tipsy, a lot tipsy, and <laughs> we um we we were at Ink and Ivy uptown. And I had a few drinks. And so I was like, let's meet in the bathroom mm-hmm. and have sex. Now, we didn't have sex. We did other sexual acts. But we left the table, creative. Mm-hmm. That was foreplay. Yes. And we went in that bathroom together and we did sexual acts. Right, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You. So, again, that's being creative. You know what I'm saying? It, listen, I didn't have to buy no toys. I didn't have to buy anything. It was just yeah. meeting you in the bathroom in a public place. Yep, like I like to travel to different states. I've had sex in yes. fifteen states. 
Really? I don't know if it's been that. Yeah, really counting them states. <laughs> I, I'm gonna have to when I leave. I'm gonna really sit here and count. I don't think it's been 15, but it's been quite a few. Yes. And now I remember um, several episodes ago, I had the Mia's on here. I don't know if you if you looked at that, but my friend Mia and her um, her wife were on the show, and they said that it, was it them or somebody else? But I could have sworn they said that they pulled over. And had now I don't know how they did that now think about that but they pulled over and had sex on the side of the road I've heard of that I don't know about that that sounds dangerous <laughs> like <laughs> because if you do it at night you don't know who's watching you and if you do it in the day you don't know who's watching you I don't know it's the headlights like I've had sex in the car like in a parking garage I had sex in the car yeah but like on the side of a road I don't think I've ever done that. nope never on the side I, of the I road I don't know if I would want to do that. I mean, here in Charlotte, you know, these, these drivers cannot yes. drive, and I would be terrified yes. that a car gets hit. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> now, we've also had sex. Um, we were at a beach somewhere, and we we was in a rental car. <laughs> and we before we, like, left the beach, we just pulled over somewhere and put the back seat down and had sex in the back. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, again, crea- I'm telling my business. That is creative. Creative. You know what I'm saying? And not doing the same thing over and over and over again yep. be creative okay like next one number six take your time and give all body parts attention take it slow kiss from the head on down if you like your feet Girl, sucked on do that that is a major key oh my god so tip to the men like we get that sometimes there's quickies yes. understand that totally Absolutely. you know get it and get it out but some that sounds horrible. Get in and get it out. <laughs> it's a quickie. It's okay. It's a quickie. But then if it's not a quickie, there's more body parts to me than my vagina. You yes. know what I'm saying? There's more body parts to me. Take your time. Mm-hmm. And that, again, it goes back into making your woman feel secure, mm-hmm. affirming your partner. Because, you know, a vagina is on every woman. You know what I'm saying? Now, not That's the same true. kind. Right. But, but a vagina is on every woman. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But t- paying attention yes. to your woman's body parts. Like you said, start from the bottom and slowly work your way up. Mm-hmm. Make it sensual. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're not just kissing it, like just rub some oil right. on it. Oh, oil. Yes. Massage. Who doesn't God. love a massage? Who doesn't love a massage? And what a, what a like, erotic little thing to do you and your partner naked mm-hmm. with some body oil yeah doing a massage that's gonna for sure lead to a, always a sensual sex girl some of the best sex i've had with, with, with my partner he was mm, nah, mm, that was good he was massaging me and this i didn't even expect I'm getting, i feel like i'm getting aroused no <laughs> no all right we don't spend half after know. this show <laughs> mainly be sleep girl, baby. i know right go to sleep <laughs> go to sleep um but i remember we were um and it wasn't expected we were i was laying down and he started massaging me mm-hmm. you know and as he was massaging me obviously he was getting aroused and so i felt the arousal and my like, oh snap so as he was like massaging me and again i don't want to get too graphic but Stuff was happening. And so it just felt, it made it so sensual because Mm -hmm. he was touching my body, but also kind of getting that, getting ready. Yes. And it it, it made it happen slow and sensual. And it just, it, it made me feel more aroused Mm -hmm. because it was, it was warming up. Women have to warm. Well, I know I do have to warm me up, Mm -hmm. warm me up. (laughs) It's, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the major thing. Mm-hmm. When, like, I feel like a man can get an erection. Some men can get an erection if you even look at them or yes, touch them. Yes, They are erect. Every they time are, you turn around, ready. they're erect. Women are not like that. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to really, really warm a woman up if it's not a quickie. But sometimes, even if it is a quickie, you got to do something. Warm them up. Get them ready so that they can have the same pleasure. Absolutely. You know? Like, I bought a massage gun recently and, like, just a massage oil because my husband has back problems. Mm-hmm. So I'll rub his back, and mm-hmm. usually we're both naked, and it always wow. leads to sex. Oh, my God. It feels good because right. it's, like, building up for him. Like, it's he, bu- he the feels, build up. He feels it all. Girl, the build up. Like, what's wrong with these men? Like, <laughs> all these tips that we've named so far are just so simple. Yeah, like, even if you don't, don't want to rub her whole body, even just a back rub. A foot rub. Yes. You know, people be on their feet, girl. You know, please, please like, you know. Don't have no crusty feet, women. Oh, that's <laughs> and true. And they're doing I it. I do have to keep a pedicure because my husband would be like, up oh, India, right. your feet. <laughs> Girl, like, so, you know, do your part too. You can't that's be laying true. there with some funky, crusty that feet. That is very um, true. <laughs> but, like, that's, again, such a simple thing. You know what I'm saying? Take it slow. Like, touch. Like like you said, 
you don't even got to do all my body parts. Exactly. Can, you, can I get one other yes. than my vagina? Like, yes. you know, or t- like my head. I, I like a good scalp massage. I know that's your weird. Man? Yeah. Really? I've never had oh, him touch my scalp. What? No. Ooh. I, I think it does feel good, though. Oh, my God. I love it. <laughs> I love when we're laying in the bed. We didn't do this in a while either, y'all. Um, but I love whenever we're laying in a bed or laying somewhere and he just starts massaging my scalp. I would probably so go to sleep good. with that one, though. It is. It, it makes you go to sleep, girl, but it, it's very relaxing, and that can lead to other things, you know? Body part. I head can see that. Part. Like, Chris likes his head rubbed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure, like, all his head's rubbed. <laughs> yeah, he does. It <laughs> helps him sleep. <laughs> girl, I know. Like, pay attention to them body parts, men. Don't be selfish. Like, True. pay attention to all the body parts. And while you're touching these other body parts, pay attention to, like, her movement, right? Mm-hmm. Because certain body parts might be like, oh my God, that feels good. Mm-hmm. Keep doing it. Keep then. doing it. <laughs> Keep doing it. Like you got to pay attention. You can't just be selfish trying mm-hmm. to get in there. And okay. And, and here's a caveat. Okay. Don't try to just touch a body part j- just to say you did it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't try to like, don't try to, okay, I massage your foot for 30 seconds. Now that part's over. Like Mm-mm. be intentional about yes. it. Like, Oh my just God. Just laying there and watch something on TV. Just take her foot and just right, rub it. Right. And just don't do it just to say you did it. Do it and enjoy it. Exactly. And make her feel good. As long you know? as her feet don't look jacked up. Right. Like, enjoy right. it. Enjoy it. I like that one. All right. Number seven, <laughs> oral sex, study, practice, and learn. Like, you're not going to be good at it the first time. No. And then whatever that last woman like, this one may not may like. May not like it. So may listen like to her. It. Like, if she's moving down Ooh. or up more or something, Ooh. it's because she you in the wrong spot. <laughs> right, right. But if I'm moving, I'm like, yes, oh, good. Yes. Pay keep, attention to pay that. Pay attention and baby, keep doing it. And 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 I like, I like this tip because it says study, practice, learn, right? Like, you can study from porn. Yep. You can study from, like you said, your partner's response. Mm-hmm. But if it... Here, I keep saying this because I'm just saying this. <laughs> Don't do oral sex. And I know that sometimes you'll do this because you guys are, you know, quick. But don't do oral sex just to get what you want. Exactly. Girl, like, make her feel good. Make her feel good. Now, and, it, and here's the thing. If it take 30 minutes, let it take 30 minutes. Because sometimes they're like, I'm tired. I mean, right. That's how we feel sometimes. Right, right. <laughs> like, I'm the kind of person... And I think the common denominator here as well is that I be in my head sometimes. And so sometimes it makes it harder for me to get to that explosion time. Mm-hmm. So if that's the case, stick with it. True. Stick with it. I guess it depends on how aroused you are too. That's true. Like if you're like not really feeling it, it's going to take you a lot yeah. longer. But sometimes like I could be feeling it, but then I'll think about, damn. Something random, like, <laughs> did I go to the grocery store? And then I got to start all over. Yeah, that's you know? true. <laughs> like, if, if I have a random thought in my head, and that's, ooh, that's the worst feeling, girl. And, I, and I, that's the worst feeling when, like, you're close, and then a random thought pops up. And it's like, shit. Or for me, if I hear one of my kids, I'm like, <gasps> oh, we have to stop. Oh, my God. Ooh, that's the worst. And, and so I'm going to tell you what I do. And men listen to this, so, like, <laughs> Okay. So like, because sometimes it could take me a little bit longer, I've had the experience where they stop when I'm close and that makes me not even want to start. Meaning if my partner really, really likes it, Mm -hmm. I don't want to get too deep into it because I don't want to get close right. and then you stop. That's true. I don't like that. Like they like you got to finish. You got to finish. You got, Now, I don't be finishing. I mean, um I don't be little <laughs> shot. I, I'm giving y'all minutes now. This ain't got nothing to do with me and <laughs> what I'm doing or not doing, but oral sex is important. And if you don't know how to do Oh, shoot. I'll bet you just say if you don't know how to do it, just don't even do it because that could be frustrating true. too. That like <laughs> But there's too many resources. Mad. Right, right. There's too many resources for you not to do it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I think you also have to ask your partner, again, what do you like? True. What do you like? Because it takes time because you have to know your body. Right. Like, where are your spots? Right. Where are those spots? And the men have to pay attention to the responses. Mm-hmm. Don't be selfish. Don't it be t- selfish. And take your time with this. Take your time. I know. <laughs> now, I- I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you this. Um, Good... I know I'm talking about balls and stuff like that, but like with like women, it's a hole and 
it's going to get wet and get gooey and all that stuff like that. So kudos to those men because I could never like I really I suck a dick all day before I eat anybody's exactly. vagina because it's so much. It is a and lot. It's, it's a lot. It is a lot. And it's interesting that you know men be loving it. Um, whatever. And we're like, girl, oh. I could never imagine. Like, give me a ball and a penis any day yes. because I don't want, like, that's a lot. So kudos to y'all it's for doing it. It's very personal. And I feel like it should it's be so between a partner that you really care about. It should Not be. just any old woman. Cause but some men be having those fetishes, girl. Okay. They, they just like doing it. Like, like they like to, like, eat women out. Well, do your thing. Do it, girl. Do it. <laughs> but I'm but I'm just saying, like, kudos to y'all. Kudos to you for even doing it, because I could never. But Same. if you're gonna do it, study it. Listen, look out for those cues of what's working. Mm-hmm. And if it ain't working, don't continue to do it. Exactly. And if it's not working, tell him. Tell him. <laughs> tell him. <laughs> and see, I could be bad at that too, because I'm just like, I don't even I don't even feel like trying to help you today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just stick, just it, yes, this works. Whatever. Or just move them. Just say, I, I, know. I got it. And you know, they, they always say, like, um, move. Now, if I do this, they say, like, move his head to where you want it to be. So, like, if he's down there, like, shift his head. <laughs> move his head. I think you just move your body. But sometimes, sometimes you got to move their head. Like, because sometimes you might be too high up, too high down. Move your head and position it. You know, <laughs> that, that sounds like a robot. That does sound kind of. It like sounds a robot. aggressive, but yeah. you but you like aggressive. I do. I don't. Now, I like aggressive, but I also am very like I. I don't want my partner to feel bad. You know what I'm saying? True. So like, I think it goes back to how I would like fake scream back in the in, back in the day, um, because I felt bad for people if I was quiet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm I'm not the best communicator when it comes to like oral sex, mm-hmm. having to like help. My partner, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm probably, I don't do that like I should. Mm-hmm. And I'm on here giving tips and I don't even do it. <laughs> <laughs> oral sex. Any other thing about oral sex? No, I think that's pretty okay. good. Number eight. Remember to please your partner. Don't just bust and go. Don't just bust and go. You both should go. come. <laughs> don't just bust and go. I want to stay here because I, I had a conversation with a friend and she was saying that her man be doing this and it made me so mad. Like, Men can be very selfish sexually, yeah. which will make a woman not even want to have sex mm-hmm. or not enjoy it. Because I feel like it's so much easier for a man to reach an orgasm than it is for a woman. I could and a that. man can have an orgasm, boom, and then you can't just leave. I'm still here. Yeah, I'm still here. Nothing's really happening. Right. And that's where I think, okay, having that toy, you know what I'm saying, would be helpful because maybe you're a quick comer, <laughs> whatever the case might be. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm not. So don't forget about me over here. And it's like they they can feel when you like when you hit that point. Yeah. So it's like, don't you want to feel that? I know, I know. Cause y- y'all been looking happy. You know what I'm saying? Looking happy <laughs> and like I'm just like, like, what about me? <laughs> that one's a pretty black and white one because I feel like it. Well, yeah, it's pretty black and white. Mm-hmm. I don't know why y'all don't be doing it, but it's not fair. And so you can't sit there and think that you are gonna have a woman who is eager to initiate and eager to have sex whenever you're just busting and going out here. And that's so very you know? true. But then it's like, okay, like he came and he's already like ready to lay back down. Just get back on top. Yeah, you know what? I ain't getting up there. <laughs> and just finish it off yourself. Now, if they, if they, if they bust and go, that's a, that's the title of this episode, bust and go. If they bust and go, that means they're limp again. So now you got to work to get them hard again. Ugh, that sounds draining and tiring. Just thinking about that. I don't know. I mean, that for your partner, so like you, you be ready to go. That's quickly. true. That's true. But again, I also think, and now I feel like everything always goes back to the woman, <laughs> but I feel like that is important for a woman to know what makes her orgasm. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's important to be that comfortable with your body sure. because like I said, men can come very quick. So if it's now your turn, at least you want to point them in the right direction. Yep, like it definitely took me a while to realize what made me reach <sighs> to that point. I don't know what makes me get to that point. You never paid attention? Oral so I'm very I'm an oral person. Like I've I've always relied on the oral part. Like a lot of women don't orgasm with intercourse like mm-hmm. they don't orgasm um easily from like penetration they orgasm easier with oral have you never been on top and had an orgasm that's a good question have i been on top and had an orgasm i think i've come close 
But I don't know if I've been on top and had an orgasm, child. And if if I did, I might have been drunk. I don't know, but because that, that's my best, I perform my best when I'm drunk. But <laughs> like, we gotta get you out of that. I know. That's a whole other topic, child, because, like, orgasm, I think sometimes I talk myself out of an orgasm. You're focusing, you just need some porn in the background, I, I think. I think I do. I'm, I know I say this over and over again, over and over again, but that last episode really motivated me to be more outside the box <laughs> yes. and to, like, really, because, like, I've always thought about sex, which is horrible, about the pleasing the man and the man, like, once the man is good, then mm-hmm. we're, then we're done. It wasn't until recent, in the past couple of years, that I realized that this shit can be pleasurable for me, too. What? Isn't that crazy? Oh, my goodness. I yes. know. She I know. Just having sex and I not know. enjoying it. I've been having sex because my mindset, and I think this is very common, is that, because I, I don't think that in society, women being sensual and being connected to their body and orgasms, I think when you think about sex, you mostly think about men and their enjoyment. What? I do. I think what? that... I know it's not right, and I know that more liberated women don't think that way, but I think that sex is just so faux pas, is that that word? Whenever it comes to women, you know what I'm saying? I feel I feel like women are not taught to be, or not, they're, it's not welcomed for a woman to be sensual. Mm-hmm. You know, like, with a man having sex, you know, like, what did um that dude say? Little Boosie was, I mean, this is horrible, but, look, but, but, he, but he was right. So, uh, but he was saying that he had hired a prostitute for his 14 year old son or something like that because he wanted him to like have sex, which is horrible because that's really like um being, being a pedophile, you know, because it was an older woman who had sex, sex. I mean, I don't know if this is true, but I heard about that, but I'm saying this to say that we, we salute men for like having a bust in a nut, you know what I'm saying? And getting to that point, whatever, whatever, but a woman going to be a hoe and be looked down at sometimes if they're connected to their sexual side, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. It's true. That is interesting. So I feel like for me, um, especially I have to understand I have a bunch of men in my family. I don't, I don't have no sisters. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I have three older brothers, okay. big daddy's girl, all the stuff like that. So it's like, if you're not, if you are not having those conversations or if you're not around a lot of feminine energy like that, then mm-hmm. you might not be connected to your sensual sexual side as much as you should, you know? I think it kind of comes down to self-esteem too. Yeah. Really how? How so? Just like if you're insecure, like mm-hmm. you should feel like you should be loved on and you yeah. should be pleasured too. Like it's not always just about them. And that's very true. But I think for me, like having sex, especially young, like when I was younger, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't really know what I should feel. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I just, I'm just thinking, okay, this is what I'm, this is what we do. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just thinking, okay, he's satisfied. So, you know, I see and, and me, and also it's like, I would have certain satisfaction in other areas, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But having a complete euphoric feeling mm-hmm. really was never really in my mind until the recently, like in the past couple of years. Oh, wow. I wonder yeah. what changed for you. Like I could see that. Cause in the porn house, it's like, they always come. It's always the men, you and know? Like, and I, can tell them women on them pornos be faking girls they they're do. not happy like, you know what so, i'm saying and like that's why i'm like the rough ones because that looks like it hurts yeah yeah and see and see that and it goes back to it like i'm that's probably what that's, that's, i probably resonate more so with like the roughness because that's what i'm thinking it should be you know what i'm saying <laughs> i can see that I can you know that. but it was I had a really great sexual experience. I, well, I, you know, I, ain't, I don't want to go into that because <laughs> but what I, all i'll say is that when i first started having sex and I had like, uh, like I felt that euphoric feeling for the first time. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh my god! Like, this is crazy!" Like, ha- and, and in that experience, I feel like my partner did all the shit on his list because they was everywhere, kissing mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. I all I had to do was just lay there, and they their whole aim was pleasuring me. And that gave me like my first experience, and and again, this was a couple of years ago. And you wanted that experience again, didn't yes, you? <laughs> because I didn't I didn't even know that that I again that was recently. Oh, wow. you know what I'm saying? And so I didn't even know that I could even feel that sense of euphoria sexually. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can see that. That's that's kind of sad. Oh, but but you know now I know. So now that I'm like I know that can happen. So that's what that's my aim. You but know I what feel I'm like saying? there are other women that probably feel the same way. Like it's all about pleasing them. Right. You gotta feel good too. Right, you gotta feel you good too. You don't want to lay there and like, okay, yeah. what just happened? But I, I, I see you look at me like I'm crazy. But no. but I, <laughs> but I, but I, but I really feel like that's more common than what than what we know. 
I could see that, but you know, it should be enjoyable for both of you. It should be, but I just don't think that that that's the case for a lot of women. And I can see that, especially if you're if you've been married for a long time or together for a long time, and you're tired or whatever the case might be. I can see how you just want to get in and get it out. <laughs> you know, that's, I keep saying get in and get it out, get in and get it over with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then you lose the pleasure. You're just trying to pleasure this person so they can get, leave you alone. <laughs> You know, I can see that if you're too tired, it's like, right. all right, it would just make you feel good for these two minutes. Right. All right. Two more and we're done. Okay. This number nine, don't cause your partner. Ooh, this is, don't cause your partner anxiety around sex. Constantly talking about sex all the time. Now I want to hear your thoughts on this. <laughs> like you can talk about it, but I guess if you're maybe comparing them to mm-hmm. other people or talking about how this experience was good or mm-hmm. this was bad. Mm-hmm. Or if you, I feel like if you kind of overly talk about it, yeah. they're going to expect it. Yes. Like, I don't feel like you should expect sex every day. Yes. Say this, say you that again. You can have sex, but bag. you don't have to have that expectation. Like, if you're rubbing me down or just kissing on me or flirting with me, it doesn't have to lead girl, to sex. It girl, could, girl. but it, it may not, and that's okay. <laughs> you just said a motherfucking <laughs> word. Like, <laughs> anxiety. You, sh- girl. Okay. And I know it's not just me because I know somebody else said this to me as well. Like, I think sometimes when you're constantly hearing a man talk about sex, Mm -hmm. anything, sex, 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 now it it, it gives me anxiety. Like, Like, is that all you want? Right, right. It's like so, like every, every conversation, every touch is a sexual touch. Mm-hmm. You know, every, like, every couple of hours, yeah, man, let's let's have sex, or, you know, tonight we have sex. Like, what? Like, <laughs> I, can, can, you know what I'm saying? Like, for me personally, I don't want to hear my partner talking about sex all day or connecting every single thing back to sex. Right. If, if we're touching and if we're hugging, I would just prefer that that be a hug. Now, again, I'm not approved to where I know that there'll be some sexual banter and jokes, whatever like that. <laughs> Absolutely. But I don't want to, every time I hug you, now you have an erection. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or like, I don't want to cuddle you and now gotta have sex. True. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be that eager. I feel like for me, if I see you not talking about it, you know what I'm saying? That makes, that makes me want it more. Mm. That is. And that's when it goes back to paying attention to your partner because sure. I feel like some men are so um, hypersexual that it that it can be too much for their partner. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Like it's gonna make no nah, you too you too hyper yeah, over there. I'm yeah. gonna calm down. Yeah. But I think if you're constantly thinking about it, like they're gonna think like, okay, am I just a piece of meat? Right. Like, am I only here to have sex right. with you? Right. And then I feel like that loses the sensuality of sex yes. because now I know you want to have sex. Like like I I know all day you want to mm-hmm. have sex. I know like. I know that I can't even put on something that looks a little fitted or whatever because now you're going to want to have sex. Exactly. Like, that's a lot. Like, you should be able to look at me and, yes, it's okay to be aroused, but I'm like, we don't have to have sex You right don't have now. to have sex. I'm trying to go to work. Right. <laughs> and, and and even, like, you know, I like being patted on the butt and stuff like that. Yes. But I feel like men have to be very aware of what a woman like and what she don't like. You know, it's okay to talk about sex. It's okay to want to have it, but not to make, not to attach every little thing True. back to sex. Yeah, like that can be just intimacy. Yes. Like I like my husband to hit my butt every once in a yeah, while. Like, yeah, Like it's now it's just kind of like a normal thing for him. It's a normal <laughs> thing. But but if he doing, I don't know, maybe you like it, but like if he doing it every single time, like, you know, I don't know. That's a lot. That's no, a lot. He doesn't always think it's for sex. It's just because he just hits my butt. He talks about it like constantly, but but you said it's just, but that does, that's not always for sexual. No, like not he at all. he he don't hit it and be talking about what y'all gonna be doing later tonight. It's no. just a natural thing, no, you it's, know. It's our flirting, just banter, flirting, <laughs> flirting, but not constantly like talking about it and like and now we're in the bed because I because you don't have to have sex every single night, exactly. you know. No, you don't. You don't have to have sex you every just night. Just lay there and hold each other. You think you, you think, but some people think you have to have sex as we're cuddling. No, we don't. And that's the thing. Like to me, being able to lay in the bed with my partner and mm-hmm. just cuddle yeah. and you not have an erection, or even if you do have an erection, not having to act on it every single time cuddling. Well, cuddling is scientifically proven to release anxiety and stress. Agreed. You know what I'm saying? It makes you feel good. Right. So like when my partner is cuddling me, even if he's spooning me, 
it feels like it's like a stress reliever. Mm-hmm. But then when you get an erection and mm-hmm. now it goes from me relaxed, you know what I'm saying, and getting some sleep that I don't have to mm-hmm. now you want to have sex, now it takes that it takes it away from that, you know? Yep. I sleep so much better when my husband holds me. Yes. Like if I'm like up and I can't fall asleep, I'm like Chris, yeah, you gotta, you gotta hold me. I know, and then I instantly can fall asleep. Right, but does that always have to lead to sex? No, I'm knocked out. <laughs> no, 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 no. I sleep. I love to cuddle. Like I love to cuddle with my partner, especially when it's just merely cuddling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like when it when it's not about sex. Because then I feel connected to you. Mm-hmm. I feel safe in that little nook. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I feel very safe. I feel very protected. I feel like, you know, just all my stress is going away mm-hmm. because we're cuddling. Yep. But everything does not have to go back to sex. Yeah, like it absolutely could because you're just so relaxed. And you're like, oh, no. it feels so good. I know. I love cuddling. I love, love, love cuddling. There are some couples that do not cuddle. I'm like, how did, what? Really? Uh, it, that, that. To me, that should just go naturally in your relationship. Absolutely. Like, I don't know what you would be doing if you're not cuddling. I don't know. Some people just they lay opposites. Like we, there's a dip in our bed because really? we lay in the middle. Wow. Yes. We yeah. You every know, night. I've been in relationships where like, and this is kind of lame, but like where like you just be holding each other like like in a hug, like holding each other like this as like falling asleep. That's 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 kind of lame, but you know that that's that can cute. feel good. It is cute. You know what I'm saying? Like holding each other until you fall asleep. And it not having to lead to an erection or not having to lead to exactly. sex. Jesus. But it sounds like for your partner, he just just be ready to go. <laughs> Listen, I ain't saying no names, child, but. Mm, he just be ready. Ready to go. Like the internet. I don't, I don't know. If maybe. Well, I started to say the age. It's not, there's no age difference. I started to say that. But, but I do think this now. I will say um, being with. I traditionally don't. I haven't dated men my age. I typically date older men. Um, and I don't know if it's because I'm with someone my age, maybe their sex drive is more than what I'm used to. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. I think that could be a part of it, you know? Like, I feel like sometimes older men, it's not that they don't want to have sex, Mm -hmm. because they do want to have sex, but I think it's just a different energy attached to it than a younger man i guess it depends on like the age difference yeah yeah Hmm. but yeah so our final tip is this was interesting take care of your nutrition semen is what is inside of you (laughs) now this wasn't my tip (laughs) and it wasn't yours either (laughs) but um but i could understand so when my friend explained it to me i'm like that makes sense so like i guess if you're swallowing your partner's semen um or if it's getting somewhere in your mouth um you don't want to be tasting like Oysters (laughs) Oysters <laughs> or some type of seafood. I don't know. Like that's came out of mind. But like you, you want if something's gonna come out, and I, that's both. That's double fold Definitely. because more. I feel like more could be coming out of a woman than a man. Um, all throughout that, I cannot. I don't know how these men do it. But um, <laughs> hygiene. I mean, like, like not hygiene, but like you know, your nutrition is important because True. that's coming out of you. Yeah, like if you're eating like a bunch of greasy foods and Ooh. stuff and you're not drinking enough water, oh, God. Um, you're Ugh. eating probably like a lot of food that has a lot of acid in mm. it, that's not good for your body. <laughs> Have you ever had an experience where like your, you could like smell, like your man's semen had a smell? I don't think it's ever had a smell, but oh, I feel like sometimes taste. like it smells like sex in the room. I that smell. I don't like that smell. I, 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 don't I like feel that like smell. that was a lot when I was younger. When I was younger, yeah. But I don't know if it smells like that now. You know, it does smell like that now. But why is I that? Why. Probably, you know, when you're young, you probably don't don't be don't like wash your sheets and don't be like, no, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I remember like being younger. Like I had my first kid when I was in high school with my husband. Uh-huh. And I definitely remember, like, my room was smelling like sex. Really? I would change the sheets, open the window. So I wonder if it's like, is it the young semen? I don't know, or is it what they were eating? What we were eating, because I definitely could eat like uh, some hot fries and drink mm. an Arizona. Oh, and he used to be eating Wendy's, and I, I know we were eating bad. It could now that and that that goes to this point because <laughs> everybody, true. all these men don't be eating healthy, and you know the older you get, child, that stuff be sitting up in your body true. like ugh, collecting dust or whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> but what you eat, you know, is coming is coming out in your secretions, even your true. sweat, your breath. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? True. Like. That's true. I cannot stand when my partner be eating a bunch of onions and then come to bed. 
Like brush your teeth, mouthwash your body, like your 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 mouth. You know, know what I'm saying? And you want to kiss? You big on mouthwash. I remember that episode you did. Girl, and don't use my mouthwash when you do it. Period. Like really? No. But it's a cup. Well, see, I I and I, they was coming for me in the comments, but because because <laughs> I, I remember somebody was like, "Well, you don't drink mouthwash." Well, I'm not drinking my mouthwash, but if it's mine, I drink out of it like that. Oh, okay, I don't do that. See, I do. <laughs> Um, and then I know that he was doing it too. And I'm just like, okay, th- that's just like drinking. Imagine drinking like uh, the same bottle of water every day. And you now I'm sharing and giving it to you. What's coming back in that? Oh, that's disgusting. It's like what you kiss. You never like took a bite of some food and then kiss your partner shortly after. I have, I but I feel like that mouthwash is just a little bit too personal for me. <laughs> like that's because I'm using that to clean my mouth. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to be using your backwash to clean my mouth. So I know we, y'all ain't sharing toothbrushes. <laughs> I wouldn't do that one either, but no. there are some. <laughs> no. And my friend said that her husband be using her toothbrush when they're on vacation if he forgets his. Or even if they're at home, he will use her toothbrush. No, we don't do that That is one. a violation. No, I'm not sharing That is the nastiest. Then you might as well eat somebody's ass because if, if, <laughs> if, if you are using their toothbrush. We ain't sharing toothbrushes. We not sharing rags. Let me hang up this. Again, one, one thing I've learned, and I, all men are different, um, but these men be using your stuff, man. And, like, I, I'm fine with, like, you know, okay, my lotion or whatever, you know, whatever, my, my, my body wash. But, like, my rag? Well, no, no, no. That's you know how nasty that is? I think that's pretty nasty. It's so personal. And sometimes my partner will, like, um, I can smell them on my rag. And I get so Why angry. Why are they using your, Don't you both have rags hanging We up should. There? We shouldn't, but I feel like some, I feel like some men, they really believe like, oh, well, what's mine is yours. What's yours is mine with anything. A toothbrush? No, not with that. Not what stuff you're cleaning your body with. I can't no. see that one. You can use my soap. You can use my shampoo because my husband does use my shampoo. Yeah. But don't use my rag and my toothbrush. I am so like, and this is where I become approved. I'm so anal when it comes to stuff like that. So my, my, my. Um, mouthwash, my rag, I fold it. So like, I'm, I don't like to see like little hairs and stuff like that in the shower or whatever. Um, so my rag after I have two rags I have that I use, and then I have a scrubber and it's like, don't use any of those. And I take them when I, after I finish using it, I wring it out really well and mm-hmm. I do a certain type of fold. So, and I hang it neatly on the thing. So I want to see it still there, not unfolded <laughs> because I know that you don't know how to fold it like I fold it. So I can <laughs> tell that you've used it. Okay. You are so specific. But there's I'm nothing very wrong specific. with that. It's mine. It's my stuff. Why are you sharing rags? <laughs> Do you not have enough? And you, you know, your rag can go in your butt. You know what I'm yes. saying? You go behind your ears. It goes in your ear. I don't want what's coming out of your <laughs> butt. Now, going into my butt. You know what I'm saying? Like, sure. I don't want that mess. Oh. I wouldn't want that one either. No. Anyway, guys, we have given, listen, we've given you our top 10 and some extras. <laughs> okay. True. In this conversation. It's important that you men listen. Mm-hmm. It's important that you listen as a couple yes. and have these. If, if you're not even writing this down, at least let this be a conversation starter. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because we have given a lot of information that should be starting some really good conversations. Mm-hmm. India, to let them know again how they can book you for your services. So you can book me. Look on my Instagram. Um, I have Instagram page, Cargal Counseling slash MFT. Or you can email me at Cargal Counseling at Outlook.com. Thank you guys for coming in to another episode with That Scary with Melanie P with guest, special guest, India Cargill. We will see you next week. Bye. <laughs> they are so funny. <laughs> girl, a mess. Like, I was trying so hard not to get too personal. Like, girl, that's it's hard. It's hard because um, it's not really be hitting home, child. It's really be hitting home.